Hey everybody, how's it going? Yeah, I'm back with another video. I know they're very far few and in between, but it happens. Happy 4th of July for everybody that celebrates it. Um, hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and everything out there. But this is another This Just In video. So that being said, stuff is kind of all over the place. I got a vinyl and a CD and some other things. So that being said, let's start with a CD I picked up. It is a, um, an unofficial and I'm not one to buy a lot of unofficial, you know, like bootleg stuff, but I thought this was kind of cool. But it's Paul McCartney and Wings' Last Flight. And what this is, is the entire Campuchia show. And the last live show they did with Lawrence and Steve. But it's, it's, not a, it's a fairly made, you know, decently made boot, I guess you could say. It's a two-disc set. Um, if... The, I have one knock on it, honestly. There's the track listing if you want to see it. Just hit pause. But the, my one knock on it, honestly, is they couldn't fit the entire um, last wing show on one disc. So, like, the last two songs, three songs, are on disc two before the Campuchia concert. But other than that, it's not a, it's not a bad it's not a bad listen. It actually sounds pretty good, and it was reasonable, you know, cost wise. Next thing I picked up, and I never had this, and it's not in the greatest shape in the world in reference to the box and everything. But I mean, I have an original Japanese version, and I have the reissue version, and I think it's white vinyl. But it is an original 68, 69 um, John Lennon wedding album on Apple. And everything is in it. Um, the box is a little beat up. You know, the corners are here and there. I mean, I'm sure you've seen this a million times. The album, of course, is pristine. But aren't they all? Who the hell ever listened to this stupid thing? I tried one time. Busted out laughing and shut it off. But <laughs> all the inserts are in here. Everything's good. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. You know, there's a couple of fold-outs. You know, the album, some strips, the plastic bag, a picture of the wedding cake. But yeah, it's just like every other wedding album. It's pretty clean. I was happy to pick this up. I wasn't going to pay what they want for a, you know, pristine one. I think that's insane for an album that you never listen to, you know. But I'm just happy to get an original. That was one of the ones on the list of the things I was missing. And then for my birthday a couple of weeks ago, my brother came over and he showed up with this unused original Apple Records matchbook and I'll put it with my uh, my original Apple bumper sticker that I got sitting in a frame over here on the wall next thing I'm going to show you I have never seen this and if you look over my left shoulder here you'll see the top to a Sun Country display with um some refund certificates and stuff like that. But I have a, quite a bit of Sun Country, you know, Ringo Sun Country um, promo stuff. This one I've never seen before. But when I seen it, I had to get it. But it is another one, and I'm pretty sure it's set inside, like, the, the box that the four packs were in. But um, the whole thing is to advertise this little bag cooler here. But like I said, I have never seen this before. So when I, I saw it, I said, I got to get it. I have all the other ones. 
And one of these days I'll do a video on, on the, all the different Sun Country stuff that's out there. I mean, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but me just being a, the collector I am, um, digs that stuff. Just, you know, let's face it, Ringo's on it, you know. So, I got a few more things here, but I'm sure everybody's heard by now that the Let It Be... 50th anniversary stuff's being postponed till next year. Um, I'm sure you've all seen the videos on the uproar on what McCartney's charging for the Flaming Pie Collector's Edition box, which is insane. I personally, I'm not getting it. 600 bucks is ridiculous. Same way with that Egypt Station suitcase. Nope. Sorry. Ain't happening. Not from here. But, um, I'll get the regular archive box and probably the 3 LP set. That's what I pre-ordered. Other than that, I'm done with it. That's the way I see it. Anyway, I digress. In my last video, um, I showed part of my Corgi toy collection. And I didn't get through all of it. I mean, there's still a whole bunch of them up here and up here. But um, the one I did not have was the original from 68. And the reason being is it's just outrageous. I mean, price-wise. I mean, so me, I don't normally settle. I just try to find the best one I can find. Okay, and, and sometimes you have to bite the bullet if you really want it. But I happened to get this one. And to tell you the truth, I mean, the box is a little beat up. But... I'm happy with it, especially because I didn't pay a whole lot for it. It's an original, and you can tell the original sub from all of the other versions because the original one is the only one that's riveted on the bottom of the submarine. All the other ones have screws. So anybody trying to pass off one with screws in it as an original, it's not. Okay, it's a, a, a newer one. And every version that I know of, that I have at least, are all screws. Plus, this sub has a three prop, has the prop has three prongs on it. Some of them do, most of them have two. But yeah, I was really happy to get this. I really wanted to get one and it kind of fell into my lap. So I was like, all right, I'll settle for this. And when I find the time, um, all that plastic I've been using to cover my stuff, that's that's what, where this is going. Next thing I got, yeah, you know me, promo posters, promo anything, you know. But I did get a couple of posters, um, both Paul McCartney's. This one here is for the Russian album, which I haven't had a chance to get it uh, done yet. So, but yeah, it's it's never been hung. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it has all of McCartney's albums up to that time all the way around it. So, this one will get the plastic treatment. And then this next one I got, pretty sure is a UK promo poster for the single but what makes this one funny I've seen this one around but people are asking I mean insane money in my opinion for a poster believe it or not I got this for 99 cents I don't know why nobody bid on it but is the promotional poster for McCartney's so bad single and it is a UK Parlophone poster. And I'll show it again once I get it on plastic. But this is a Parlophone um, from 1983 for the So Bad Pipes of Peace thing. At least I think it's a UK poster. You know, everything I've seen on it, you know, through the years, has, uh, everybody has said it's a UK poster. But it doesn't say cap or it doesn't say parlophone. And here, so sorry about that. So bad was the B side. 
No, So Bad was the A side. So Bad was the B side in the UK. So I don't know. But 99 cents. Come on. How can you go wrong? Now I got three more things. Um, the third one I'm going to do its own video because it floored me when I got my hands on it. But the next thing I picked up was the original 60s Beetle Buddies portrait still sealed in the package. And um, if this wasn't good enough, along with it, and I've only seen this in a picture in my NEMS book, which, by the way, I'm going to do a video on that because I got a request on it. So you could, you know, see more of it. Um, it's, an, it's a fabulous book written by Terry Crane and the information is phenomenal. But I saw this after I got it in his book. But it is the header card for those uh, portraits. And it's set in a box, a white box. Which, it's just a plain white box. So, want a box? All the dimensions are in Terry's book. I can make one. But along with this, and these I've never seen, were the order forms to join a Beetle Buddies Club. And it's the whole book. I mean, that's insane. You know, it is so flipping cool. And if you're wondering why Pat Boone's on here, if I, re if I remember right, in the book, Pat Boone owned the company that got the license to release those oil portraits. Okay, so um, I this is just insane. I've never seen one in person until I got this one. You know, so I, it's just cool. You know, but uh, that being said, I'm going to end this video here. Like I said, I do have one more thing. But I'm going to do it in a separate video because it is really, it, it is a tough, it's a yellow submarine item, but it's a real tough one to find. And I couldn't believe it when it fell into my lap. I was ecstatic, you know. So that being said, as I said earlier, happy 4th of July. Everybody stay safe and we'll see you soon. Take care.